All of you have a horoscope? Just one or many versions, come on. Eh? Those of you married, I'm sure you have at least two. One was made to match the alliance, another was made at birth <laughs> Those in the business know these things, okay? Now, why I'm calling it a horoscope is, I'm asking you a simple question. If there is a truly in intelligent human being in this hall, can you predict what they will do tomorrow? They may do something that's never been done on this planet, isn't it? But if you see a fool, you can say what he will do tomorrow <laughs> and what he will do the rest of his life. So if it can be written down on paper and given it to you that this is what you will do, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, does it mean to say the planets, the elements and various other influences have no influence on us? Definitely they have. They have influence on us. But the question is this, do you believe that inanimate things in the world, the planets, stars and whatever else are superior or human consciousness is superior? You must decide which should determine the destiny of which one. Should we decide the destiny of the planet or the planet should decide the destiny of who we are? So if you… if you do not take life into your hands, then planets will decide what should happen to you to some extent. But if you take life into your hands, planets cannot decide. You must know this, the best astrologers in the world, in the country at least, if you tell them I am on a spiritual path, they will say, no, we won't make predictions for you because you have taken life into your hands. We can't make predictions for someone who's taken life into their hands. <clears throat> I'm… I'm interested. I'm interested to see that every one of you take your life into your hands. What it means is, if you have mastery over your physical body, fifteen to twenty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you have mastery over your mind, fifty to sixty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you have mastery over your life energies, one hundred percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. See, horoscopes are being matched. What it means is stars are being matched. But how do you match these two idiots? It's not possible, <laughs> nobody can match these two idiots. Only if they take responsibility for each other, if they show some sense of involvement and invest their lives in each other, then something wonderful may happen. If you match them, <laughs> doesn't matter how you match them, nothing is going to work out. This is why for most people, all love affairs, and marriages are beautiful only for some time, after that it is one big anxiety or non-stop friction. Simply because people are trying to match each other, you cannot match people. No two human beings are same, it will not work that way. It is just that if you hold the other person's well-being above your own, then you will find everything works out. If your life is about extracting happiness, from somebody else, you will see it will become bitter over a period of time. If your life is about sharing the joy that you are, then everything will work out. It doesn't matter what the stars say. Anyway, stars can speak what they want. Once you come here as a human being, you are supposed to create this life. This is the only creature on the planet who can structure its own life. If you want to give that up, and allow inanimate things like planets and stars to decide the future of who you are. It's a tragic way to exist. So please, you and whoever else is influenced by you, please tell them to take their lives into their hands. It doesn't matter. And how silly is it that a third person that you do not know is going to tell you whether you will live happily or not with your husband or your wife? 
How vulgar is that? Take up this responsibility in your hand. It doesn't matter what kind of fool you marry, you take up the responsibility that you will live well and that's the only way you will live well.